Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel and have you landed here, I'm going to activate the reading pulling from Priestess of Light. Oracle, let's get a message for those of you watching. Priestess of Light, card 39, Miracles, Ancient Wisdom. Beautiful. Some miracles coming in for you through some wisdom of the ages. Uh, let's go ahead, pull the spread. I'll give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Do keep in mind, it's a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Um, always best to take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you are interested in a private reading, I do offer them. There's a link in the description box below every video that will take you to the place where you can read more about, about that. All right, here we go um, for Scorpio. Hmm. Nine of Cups, and what's crossing that is the Nine of Wands. So it feels like getting to the wish fulfillment is um, almost like a futile effort. Uh, the Nine of Wands talks about um, persevering. So it may be very challenging for you right now to kind of keep persevering, um, feeling some measure of exhaustion, weariness. All you really want is for everything to just feel good and flow easily. Um, and it's, you know, the struggle is real. So, right, because in your unconscious awareness with the lovers, it is about a sacred connection, soulmate, twin flame, whatever it is that you feel you are involved in here, um, there's something that has been eluding you, the five of cups in the past. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just came from upstairs and I'm like out of breath. The five of cups in the past, some sense of sorrow, um, you know, grief even, a sense of loss. Maybe there are some regrets of the past or mistakes that were made, Queen of Wands. Um, well, the Queen of Wands in your conscious awareness is about like reclaiming your power here. If yes, because you are feeling a little maybe confused, over, emotionally overwhelmed, stressed out, potentially frustrated, disappointed, sad even. So uh, yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse maybe for you, a little disempowerment, um, not feeling in great command of the situation like it's controlling you versus the other way around let's get some clarifiers and of course i mean that energetically seven of cups has been coming through a lot of readings lately um yeah there's like this energy of are we on the same page or not i'm confused potentially lots of mixed messages coming from your person or back and forth between the two of you leading you to feel stuck like i don't know what we're dealing are we friends are we more are we seeing things eye to eye um the three of pentacles talks about cooperation co-creation so it requires the investment of both of you correct so let's see the lover's card which is a card of choice Two of Pentacles, King of Swords. There's our culprit. <laughs> Sometimes the King of Swords um, is a little mysterious. Um, I'm seeing here like you're not sure you're getting the truth about how this person sees the connection. If they feel it the way you feel it. If they're choosing it at the level you're choosing it. Heart, soul, investment, right? So it does feel to me like you're also in this energy of, I don't really know what I'm dealing with. And as a result, things are getting more and more progressively confusing for you. Um, so let's see the five of cups in the past. Empress, seven of pentacles, nine of wands again. This has been a long haul for you. Um, definitely feeling your divine feminine energy, open, receptive, right? She's connected to this lover's card as would be the emperor. And it's just been like this thing has been 
taking a very long time with lots of disappointments, setbacks, um, you know, in the past, but it feels to me like it's been so long that that's why we're sitting here with this nine of wands as the challenge, because on some level, it's also a block. It's like, I can't give any more than I'm giving and not get something back in return. And I don't mean that on a selfish level. I mean that that's how relationships work. That's, you know, six of pentacles themes of reciprocity, of give and take. And this is feeling to me to be a little one-sided at this point. And you're not looking for over the moon, right? The nine of cups talks about, yeah, this feels good. Yeah, I've got some emotional self-satisfaction. I can kind of take a breather. So that doesn't seem like a big ask. And yet you're feeling the frustration of nothing coming back your way or what's coming back your way is either like you need a decoder ring for it, right? You're not sure what's being said or you're getting a lot of mixed messages. So let's see the queen of wands. Knight of pentacles, hermit, two of cups. So as I see it here, part of the disempowerment is that this person, King of Swords, is giving me hermit vibes of somebody that's not real approachable, moves very slowly at their own pace. Um, you're still on an unconscious level seeing this person as your beloved, as a soulmate, as somebody you can envision something more with. Um, and yet it, it's moving so slow as if to almost throw you off balance. So I am feeling like um, it's hard to know what your next best step is, hence the Eight of Swords. It feels like you're not really sure what you're dealing with, where this relationship stands in terms of how this person sees it. So let's go forward in the near future with the Seven of Cups. you're going to get some truth um maybe along with an apology or at least some message that rings true and as sincere and allows the two of you to move forward so the justice card can be about accountability someone coming in with some measure like this feels like it's playing out behind the scenes this person coming towards you with um just a way of letting you like to say I know I haven't been clear. I know that I've been all over the map. I know, you know, that um, I said this and then I did that and it's confused you. So whether they address it directly or not doesn't really matter. What matters most is that it's the truth, that it's honest, that it rings true and that it feels like, okay, well now I'm getting my equilibrium back and it gives me the will to keep moving forward. So I do see in the future the potential for some communication that comes in and takes some accountability. That speaks to me with regard to a king of swords who is usually very honorable in their upright um, interpretation is somebody that wants to do the right thing but doesn't have a lot to say, right? can sometimes seem a little distant, aloof, which is why I'm feeling this is their energy as well. Um, slow moving, very methodical and deliberate and strategic. So I kind of can see somebody coming toward you, letting you know that they get, that they've thrown you, <laughs> thrown you for a loop and that it's been frustrating and exhausting. And that you're questioning whether you should even, you know, continue to persevere for this. So I'm seeing a connection where you're dealing with someone who isn't really 100% clear on what they want. And it's not that they have ill intentions. It's just that they really don't, they really can't um, formulate the best approach. And therefore that's keeping you off balance. And it's coming through as something that feels very one-sided to you. So that's this part of the reading. In the extended, I'm gonna look at this King of Swords in more detail. I have a little bit of a different spread that I'm using where I'm looking at their approach to it all, higher vibration versus their lower vibration, so that you can see, like, 
from their higher vibration, what would they be doing? How would they be responding? Well, how would they be approaching it? And from their lower vibration could get in the way. We're going to look at their feelings for you, their intentions toward you in this connection, hidden energy, something they don't want you to see or know, but could be helpful. And then their message to you, what do they want you to know? So that's what we're going to do in the extended. If this part of the reading has rung true and you enjoy my style, my readings, um, my approach, please, by all means, make sure you are subscribed below. Um, and if you don't want to miss other readings, then you just click that little notification bell and it just pops up in your feed um, so you can get to it when it's convenient for you. That is what I have for you. Here is the astrology. The lover's card is Gemini. Our king of swords is associated with Aquarian energy. Empress, of course, is Venus, Taurus, and Libra. We have the Queen of Wands is Aries. King, uh, I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles and Hermit are both Virgo energies. Justice is Libra. Chariot is Cancerian energy. And our Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So very interesting that you get the Miracles card um, because it could be that something is about to shift and change that will seem nothing short of miraculous. So the links to the extended are below. Um, there's a couple ways you can approach it. There's a monthly, which is a very good deal that gets you into the whole um, Scorpio collection, um, meaning everything that ever was, this one, and anything that ever will be, plus the new moon, full moon, and the monthly energy update extended. So you kind of get a little bundle um, for the monthly renewal. If you just want this one, it says one-time purchase, okay? So go grab that, and I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.